It's Cockerell. It's saved for a moment. Brady unable to keep it out. Cockerell scores. Amongst a sea of silence, Montreal celebrates and their tremendous trajectory continues. Just goes to close the hip at the last second, but Brady gets a good read on it and decides to switch it up, having two penalties so close back to back. It's two. A blue tilt in the tie in Chicago. Chicago Fire already inside 12 minutes. Precarious. Cookrow steps up. Wonder going against the other side, closing his body one time, opens the hips here at the last second. Visit MLSPickham.com to sign up and learn how to play for a chance to win match tickets and VIP experiences. A lovely ball through for Haile Selassie. Angle against him. Doesn't matter. ball is played from Shihos to Haile Selassie. It looked just a little bit offside to me in Siwa. It gives you a, ch a chance to really put your foot on it, to make the ball do the work, and make the other team chase you around with the lead. Be very smart to see how they do it, especially with these pieces. Martinez, Yakov! Beautiful, intricate football from CF Montreal. They are flying! Yankov with the goal! It's lovely little passing patterns. We've seen them in moments in transition, but that extra little back heel from Joseph Martinez is just class. The ball comes in from Piet. Yankov turns so well here. The little one-two, but that back heel from Joseph Martinez is just beautiful, so unselfish. With eyes in the back of his head, Yankov continues his run and then picks out that back corner. Brady helpless, points over to his teammate. But that combination play between these... So, as we said, just seven minutes remaining. Gutierrez scores! Now then, now then! Game on at Soldier Field! And the pathway presented by a local boy! Short run up! Quick jabs into the ground and then opens it. Acosta's ball in. Headed away momentarily. Here's Acosta again. High hanging ball in Tehran. And towards goal it goes! Hugo Kuypers! Off the mark finally for Chicago Fire! And with four and a half minutes to go! The first one is always the most difficult to get. And what a time to get it for Kuypers, who stays alive in the box. It just sniffs out his up. Here comes Chicago one more time. Acosta forward. And it's an open moment. Oh, my word! Chicago fire have won it. Windy City plays its part in a vital Chicago Fire goal. Well, what a way to flip the script from his own half. That Chicago wind with some home cooking there. This ball goes from one end to the next. Your walk can't track it. Comes off his fingertips. No one can believe it. But the Chicago Fire faithful. We'll be happy to see it. Their new signing, the free agent. Wrong decision there, trying to play in Campana in behind. Again, DC coming forward quickly. Herrera finds Pirani. Leaves for Cleach. In just round. Good ball. Jared Strong! Oh, what a goal! His first for DC United is spectacular. DC takes the lead 1 0. To say we're going to be a little bit better in possession. Clean, definitive touches, but direct. Cleach with a great ball serve. First big chance for Miami today, and Alex Bono keeps it with a clean sheet for DC.
DC. Miami coming right back. Redondo trying to get back from Gomez. He did. Campana! Second chance. Miami score. All level and out of field. Through Ronaldo Campana. But Bono comes up huge, but it's Redondo keeping the play alive. Busquets, Ruiz. And how often have we said since he's come into Major League Soccer? For DC United, play continues. Redondo coming for Miami. So open, end to end at Audi Field. Here is Campana for Suarez. So open at Audi Field. Luis Suarez continues. His blistering form into Miami, take the lead on the road, two to one. Whether or not you can determine if it hits the left hamstring or the left hand, but then immediately the other way. How about the two center forwards for Inter Miami? Campana in the first half, Suarez in the second, but will it remain 2-1 Inter Miami? Oh, Gomez. Pressure and click. Here he comes. Gomez coming forward. Has Suarez with him. Suarez for his brace. Suarez is patient. Still there, maybe for Suarez. Yeah. Luis Suarez. Another brace. Miami flying again on the road. Three to one in Washington. Well, and all this is on Diego Gomez. I told you the physical capacity for 90 minutes is relentless. You can see why all the scouts around the world are salivating at his prospects. But Father Time may be knocking on the door. And he may have to answer it at some point. But for Luis Suarez, class is permanent. Time and time again, when everything is against him, he chips the goalkeeper. He chips the goalkeeper and puts the nail in the coffin of DC United on the road for Inter Miami. 3 1 in the nation's capital for the team in pink. Rui Diaz. Fifth career goal in MLS, all in Seattle. One settle for the Sounders. He's got 78 goals in all competitions, and he opens up his account with that. Just a filthy little dink. Right. Vines and Mihalovic to address this ball here in the 87th. Time running short. Mihalovic up. Oh, it's not through. Punches it in! Spectacular free kick from Mihalovic. You love to give him half a goal, but he is happy to be involved in the equalizer. Kevin Cabral, right place, right time, 1-1. One, one. Oh, but the free kick, the step, Georgi Mihalovic, everybody in an onside position, kisses the inside of the post. And that was one of the things that John Herman spoke to us about is just building trust within this team. But first and foremost, when they build that trust, is there's going to be a long ball played over the top. And it could be a chance here for Marshall running around the keeper, and he opens the scoring. This incredible start to this Toronto FC season continues. It's the 19-year-old Jaquiel Marshall running who opens the scoring for TFC. An excellent first touch. No urgency to get pressure on the long ball. Takes a bounce, but look at that first touch. Second touch to be able to get it out from under. Be the left of Fernandez to the right of Santi Rodriguez. Rodriguez over the wall and into the back of the net. That is glorious from Santi Rodriguez, who makes the man from missing a guilt edge chance and draws New York City level. Well, when you're struggling to 
to convert in the run of play. Set pieces can be a great equalizer, and Santi Rodriguez just steps up, gets all of this, the whip, the bend, the pace. Well, and here's the interesting thing is because we're talking about Toronto FC trying to play out, putting themselves under pressure. We see New York City now build again. Fernandez outside of the boot. It's a decent ball, and it's the go-ahead goal for New York City. And Fernandez, we talk about his left foot. He says, here we go, outside the boot. You got the late runners coming in. All you have to do is make good contact on this. They've done a decent job so far. Amundsen, he's gone for Yabara again. Second time tonight. Raya stretching to keep with him. In the middle for Kucho! When Columbus could have played this ball in behind, and doesn't Anderson put it right into stride of Yaboa, who does so well just to pull it. POI hold this run, and at the last second, he cuts inside, he breaks the line, but he needs somebody middle of the frame, and that's where this man has popped up time and again. Cucho and then is the ball squared to him, and for him, that is easy pickings. Top in. Two unbeaten sides going head to head here. And two changes on the way for the Red Bulls. Who've got Cucho setting up Russell Rowe, scored from distance last week. Scores again! A confidence on show from champions. Quick to pick up his head, releases it. Perfect weight on the ball for Russell Rowe to stride on to. Check is complete. It will be the corner. Rossi takes it, takes a flip of near post, turned in by Morris. It's 3-0, Columbus. And it will be three points surely now tonight for the reigning MLS Cup champions. He made the run that led to this corner, Zawoski making that near post run. From Benji Kikanovic, after four minutes, and lost at the death. They got a corner here, and Boom! The opener comes off a set piece, and Costa cashes in for San Jose, the Brazilian fullback, gives the Quakes the lead after ten minutes. It's what they deserve. And Luchi Gonzalez said we have to love set pieces. That is whipped into a great area. Corner number two. Oh, yes! The Colombian! Danny Rosero dunks it home! A corner goal apiece for each club. And it's getting wild within the first 20 minutes. Corner and set pieces. This is a great ball whipped into the area where goals are scored. There's Danny Rosero. Not much opposition to it. You know how a football game goes. It swings back and forth. Good ball, that is. Tommy carved it to Polito. Shallowy. Mm, look at the patterns. Running it wide for Russell. Oh, nice. A 1-2 with Davis. Polito! Oh, what's a goal? Hits pay dirt, and there's the first forward who's fruitful for Sporting Kansas City. 2 1. Alan Polito, he's been waiting for that, and he gets his first goal. We're going to take this from right early. Great ball there, Eric Tommy. Then look at the passes. Here's Shallowy getting a turn, gets it out. Look at Jake Davis's run. We call that pattern of play. He gets inside. A little one-two here. 
Then he cuts it back. Area where goals are scored. There's Alan Polito making it 2 1. What a great football move. Champagne football from Sporting Kansas City there. Ending in Alan Polito's first goal of the season. A comeback player of the year coming off knee surgery in 2022. Making it 2 1. What a great football move. Champagne football. For whom aggressiveness is a pillar of their football philosophy. Washington. Ready to aim for. Oh! Lacanzo last season. Put it in. To Arfield. Too high for Arfield. Ajuman lays it up for Udenin. Udenin to the end. And he puts it away. Charlotte FC have high ups to the lead in Nashville. Exactly what you're supposed to do in this moment. You get your first touch out of your feet. Right here in the goal across the goal. There's nothing that Joe Willis can do. You have to give Diahide a lot of credit for the Excellent delivery. Awkward here. It falls for one. The loads are off and running. And it's the first goal of the Eric Ramsey era. And it's an early 1-0 lead over the reigning Western Conference champions. Well, Luis doesn't come off his line. And you can see he thought about it for a second there. Mario with an awkward header back into traffic. I mean, Olawoshe a little flat footed. And Stregapani laid that ball back to him. Awkward here. Hongwane is going to get on the end of this one. And that might just do it. Disastrous mistake from LAFC. And a punctual finish from Bongi Hongwane. His second goal in as many games. And it looks like it's going to be three points in the debut of their new head coach, Eric Ramsey. You've got to find a way to put it away. And Aaron ball back. Segura just bounces over his leg. And Longwana uses the pace to get him behind. They get into the attacking third for this Houston side. Kovalchik again. Gregus. Dorsey. Bossi. Karaskia. Outside of the boot, he's looking for Ibrahim. It was broken up by Mosquera. Falls right to Ibrahim, who smashes it into the back of the net. The Houston Dynamo have gone in front in the 43rd minute. Eli Aliu, Ibrahim. And a mistake in conversation between Crepo and Mosquera to take the breadlock. But they can sense it now, Vancouver. The chances they're creating and Gould's finding them little areas. He's just, because he's not pushed up so high, he just times his run perfectly. Spoon oh. forward by Pedro Vite. Good combination play. Laborda, Brian White come oh. back. Oh, and it's passed oh. into the net. It is a goal for Laborda. The center back joins the attack, and it's Vancouver away with the opening goal of the game. Goes running. Oh, take a bow, my friend. Gould again makes that runner, draws the attention a little over, and it's a little side for him. On the restart, the free kick. Now the ball pushed forward by Ryan Gold. Pico. 
Help coming over from Paul Ariola. Dangerous cross sent in. It's another goal for Vancouver. Back to back, very quickly. A dangerous ball is whipped in and finished by the outstanding goal scorer, Brian Weitz. Well, he looks shell shot the keeper, but what a delivery. Cool ball watching. He comes back on his right foot. He whips it in with pace. White's already made a run. He's already there. Moose is supposed to be picking up. He's a centre forward. He's switched off. They have a centre forward particularly with this surface as well, if it skips up. Standing over it, game's gone into the 40th minute. Just a short run up on the delivery, clipped in by Fadeda, and he's looking for Moose and he finds him! And it's Ariola and Legette back there as well, and it ends up being Legette who heads it home for FC Dallas in before halftime. FC Dallas has pulled one back. With a bit of disguise, just opens his body round, closes it up, and... The Jet just heads that, cushions that into the back of the net. Daniel Gazdag lining up to the spot, trying to line up his second goal of 2024. He had one in the run of play late against Chicago, and he's got one here in Austin, Texas. All the breaks going the Union's way, and inside the opening quarter of an hour, it's the Union who jump out in front first. Collective effort of the team to earn that penalty, and you see him step up there full of confidence since 10 minutes gone in half number two. Wolf in a pocket of space, waits for Jimenez who just stepped on. Looking to dump one in, he does. Great ball into the back post, and we're tied! One, one! Diego Rubio's first in a Verde and Black Kids. Game on here in Austin. And you look at how many players ran directly over to Jimenez. Find the one player that can do it. Looks like it takes a little bit of a deflection there. And Jimenez again just setting up that first touch and putting it into a dangerous space. Wolf gets in behind. Service out top. Backside. Chance to make it do! And they do! He started on the right side and now John Gallagher scoring from the left. Just like that, Austin FC take a 2-1 lead. Goes on to the right side. You move Gallagher to the left side. And look at this ball from Oh Wolf. Just cuts that across. Ring gets a little touch. And what would have been a left-footed player on the left-hand side is now a right-footed player. And he's able to put his body around that with the right foot and redirect that with all the pace to the back post. A phenomenal goal and a phenomenal response from this Austin FC side here at home in the second half. Austin FC back in their own half from the Union. Martinez, high boot, but he got away with it. Waiting for the overlap from Harrio. Well-timed on the run, numbers inside the area. Into the back post, and it's 2-2. Ooh, ah, finds the back of the net, and the Union have equalized. Numbers in the box, and Philadelphia make it pay off. That wide of the danger. And you see that touch fall right to the feet. He was a very confident mood in our uh, calls during the week. <laughs> what do he say? <laughs> Bet on me for goals this week. There you go. Yeah. Begundes, lovely play, Aude inside the area. Aude tries to pull it back. Real opportunity, Jovan scores! Fourth straight game to start the season. Dejan Jovalic is red hot right now. LA Galaxy with the perfect start. And it starts way back in their own end, the way that they change the point of attack, but I want you to keep an eye at the top of the 18. Watch Dejan Jovalic's movement. That little subtle check back to create him. John McCarthy, uh, another former yeah. teammate of yours, kind of came through at Philadelphia Union initially. And a giveaway again, this time it's Ricky Pooch. Chance in on goal, and this time St. Louis City make no mistake. Ostrak right down the middle, and the frustration on Greg Vanny is there for all to see. A real giveaway, and St. Louis City respond. 1 1. It's about picking your moments. You have triggers that you always are looking for, and as soon as you see that negative pass from the Galaxy, that's the trigger for St. Louis. And they sense of confidence here in St. Louis City going forward. Vasilev. Take the strike on. 
Vasilev had that little opportunity, that little window, but just hesitates. Delgado, ball in behind, Painzel, you're not going to catch him, Painzel scores! Devastating from LA Galaxy! Delgado with an imperfect ball in behind, and Joseph Painzel, the new wing wizard of Carson. What Joseph Painzel has brought to this team is a threat in behind. Attacking space, gives marketing. That means we are going to have two up front. Adina and right in there, right. Involved as an option at that far post. Gets his head to it, and the other hand kick is in! Stunning finish! We're level again! And impacts the game, just cheating on that back post. Does well to put the ball back into a dangerous area. And a center back? Whoa, a center back? <laughs> Yo, Keem Nielsen with the acrobatics, the overhead kick to find the back post. And you talk about an equalizer, a leveler. Set piece, a corner kick is exactly how St. Louis got themselves back in this game. A similar setup with Dinner and going towards that far post again. McCarthy punches it, it's in! The goalkeeper furious that there's no whistle. But St. Louis City have stolen it at the death, and it's again a set piece that has given them the lead. But it's St. Louis doing a good job of look how many bodies they have in and around the goalkeeper. You have one in front of him, you have two behind him, and it's Heeper who goes up with the challenge. I think that might be an own goal. It is an own goal. John McCarthy comes out trying to. Good whip ball across the box, threatening. Berkey to come out and try to get a hand on it. Brugman in the area! All the way through it in! The Galaxy are not to be denied! We're level again! With Maya Yoshida getting the equalizer, I love his movement off the ball. He starts from a little bit deeper and then just makes that darting run to the near post to get in beyond the defenders of St. Louis. Costa into the game and now entrusted with the corners. This ball far post is in it. Oh, what a stop by Ramos. He got a cross to make the stop. Still a live ball, top of the 18. And they're saying this ball crossed the line. Cincinnati is celebrating a goal. He gets himself in a huge mess. And you can see from that angle, it does look as though it's clearly from a terrific spot on the field. Oreano is the other option here, but this is all oh, Lucho Acosta go on the free kick. He kept this ball low. Oh, the MVP has made the entrance, and he has Cincinnati now up by two. They don't have a play behind the wall. We see it so often where teams say we're going to have a player line behind the wall, and we can jump. New England don't do that. to link with Santos. Brioni wins the battle for the loose ball. Giacomo Brioni fires, scores! New England back in business. Brioni with goals in consecutive games. Game on at Foxborough, it's 2-1. to one. Well, You just see here, they don't do a good job of holding onto the ball. So what, what they do here is Santos, he just plays an awful ball. That means then that Cincinnati, they're out of position. Now Atlanta, Yakomakis into space for Lobjanice. Galese off his line. Lobjanice! Lobjanice! Vintage Atlanta United from one end to the other, just like that. Atlanta opens the scoring. It's summer time at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. 1-0. And Orlando City's Achilles heel this year, giving up a ton of goals. 13 goals in all competitions. Coming in. Sabalov Janice to Brooks Lennon, who's behind Santos. Lennon cutting it back. Oh, Santos went down. Yakomaki! Lay off.
from Lennon is at the right pace for his center forward to put his laces right through it.